My name is Dave Moss. I spend approximately 200 days a year at racetracks all over the country, helping professional and amateur road racers and track day riders with suspension tuning on their motorcycles. This is Two Clicks Out. <laughs> So you went out, a bit of a rush. When you started getting into a rhythm, which was about the fourth lap, your riding changed dramatically. The most important thing I noticed is that you would let the bike do all the work and you were riding like this, but then you started riding like that. Yeah. Now, do you feel that yeah, yourself? Yeah, my arms relax, definitely. Why? Um, just focused on racing yeah. and doing the job. Yeah, and I was holding on, thank you a lot. I was holding on a lot more with my legs than with my arms after that point, just letting the bike kind of move underneath me a bit more. Okay. Did the bike feel more stable in, in terms of just allowing you to let it do its thing? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. By your about 10th and 12th lap? I made your, it that long? Your body language <laughs> changed again. I'm glad, okay. You started looking way ahead. Right. And instead of being a long way off the bike, you actually pulled yourself up. Really? Got in a little tighter because you were letting the bike do all the work. Because your settings were so far off, you always held the bike up because you didn't trust it. But then as you got past the halfway mark, the bike came down more and you stayed tighter to the bike and let the bike carve all the way through the corner. So I could see that the bike was working better but you allowed the bike to work better because you trusted it. I did, yeah. When you were taken out, where were you? Uh, that big, fast The long right sweeper? Under, yeah, at the end of it. Yeah, so okay. someone came up inside of me and pushed me out. Into the dirt? Uh, no, they hit my handlebar and then I crashed. Oh, man. Okay, Why? so I've got to loosen the front end, front end up Probably. again. Probably. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Are you okay, though? Um, yeah, my fingers hurt, but uh, aside from that, I'm okay. All right. Okay. So, all the fasteners are gone. Yep. That's Ben. That's just the plastic mount, isn't it? Okay, so you need an exhaust guard that your rear, brake cut, your rear brake master cylinder clips to. Um, you need a foot peg. What is it, a tack? Yep. Yeah, an attack foot peg. Um, that's fine. You need a belly pan. Wait, wait, when you say that's fine, you mean the... The rear set. It's fine, but All of that assembly peg. is good. I so, foot new foot peg. Um, not gonna have that. You need a new lower. You need a brake lever. Oh, fuck. Go borrow a bike. Yeah. You don't have a choice. Yeah. Oh my god. My wiring. Yeah. Go borrow a bike. Okay. Um, whenever these things go, even if you're really meticulous and put them together and shrink wrap them all, it's too much liability. Because yeah. if the motor cut, cuts out, so I, with stuff like this, I always replace the harness. It just okay. isn't worth it. I'm sorry, that's your head. It just does, it's just not worth it. Okay. So go ahead and see if you can get a bike for tomorrow. Okay. With a broken harness like that and it's mangled, yeah. um, your life's much more important. Okay, great. And it's way too much work to change a wiring harness. Yeah. For jumping on a bike that was so different from what you had, that was impressive. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Okay. Good luck with your hunting. Thank you. Um, and if you, if you do choose to get a bike, just bring it over and we'll set that one up. Okay, very good. Okay. Thank you. Well.